on with your notepad and pen and your smile. I'm ready. Be with us. Thank you. And, uh, and I see uh, my new friend, Deborah, and I understand she's at work, so she may not be able to. Oh, there you are. <laughs> she's in I don't know. Yeah, I've got to go run in a few minutes, put in an IUD, but, um, okay. you know, until I'll be back and forth and I'll be listening. So, yeah. Okay, I'll perfect. Yeah. Perfect. Well, I'm so glad. Well, you'll get the recording. Uh, Deborah's a new, like I said, a new friend of mine, and she's um, uh, working. She's in between patients, so she said she can't. Uh, you know, she can't leave the patients hanging. That's for sure. I, I still take precedence over me talking. Uh, but it's good Thank to you. have you with us, my glad friend. Glad to be here. Thank you. Thank you. And I see Steve Ortuno and Debbie Loveless and Elaine. Hello, hello. I'm so glad you guys are here. Hello, hello. I, I hate. Hey, Lynn, I know you're on a business call. May I just say that uh, my uh, my nephew, Jim Parker's house, burnt to the ground in Oregon, and uh, he's had one leg amputated. They're trying to save the other one. And oh, so, my. So, anyway, oh. just Jim Parker in Talent, Oregon, which is by Ashland. Anyway, they lost the entire town. Oh, my goodness. So, uh, so his amputation was a result of injury from the fire? Well, he has diabetes, and now they can't save oh, it. Goodness. So anyway, I, Lynn, I know you're a praying woman. I'm so sorry. I know this is your business. No, no, are you kidding me? Don't say you're okay. sorry. I'm going to look out there for a prayer warrior. And whoever's new to this class and offended by faith, you're probably in the wrong class. So. <laughs> thank, thank you so much. And can I have someone out there to volunteer to pray? Yeah. Can we go ahead and pray for you, Steve? And, and uh, Jim Great. Parker? Okay. That's, that's Absolutely. Great. Jim and Robin Parker and their daughter, please. Sure. Thank you. You bet. Uh, Lord Jesus, we come to you heavy-hearted, Lord God. We know you are sovereign, Lord God. We know you see all things and you let nothing, allow for nothing, do nothing without cause. Lord God, I pray for your mercy. I pray for your healing touch. I pray for the blood of Jesus to be dispensed over Jim and Robin Parker. Uh, I pray for the folks that are in the communities where the houses are burning down that uh, that the Lord of all provision and comfort and power and might and love and mercy reign and just bestow your presence in this situation. Wherever there is death in the pot, oh Lord Jesus, I pray that your presence, your love and your mercy would make the pot healthy, happy and whole, Lord Jesus. I just, I just pray for Steve and his family and all those uh, here today, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Steve, for allowing us the honor. And thank you, Michael, for leading us. I appreciate that very much. Like I said, if we have newbies on here that take offense to prayer, they're probably in the wrong place. <laughs> probably. <laughs> so be it, right? So be it. Um, I see Dina hopped on in Darla. So good to have you guys. And Cherie, uh, there you are. So uh, you guys pass the word. A lot of people don't come into orientation, um, but pass the word. They don't want to miss this. We have some, I've done some revisions to the class and you, uh, you know, they definitely don't want to miss it. For you newbies, um, you, I think you already know, but just in case, once you attend a class, you can keep repeating that class. And so uh, you'll see new people come in and old people, not so old, old people uh, come in. It's, it's like a lifelong journey. This is more nothing, than nothing. just, um, you know, doing a class. It's, it's about really broadening our horizons and uh, helping people become people of influence. And of course, that's for every area of life. You'll hear me say that over and over. It doesn't matter what your goal is. I've actually had some of these classes with people that their goal was to find love. And so they wanted to be able to reach out and, and, and influence that into their lives. And then, of course, some people of faith, they want a bigger ministry. They want to reach people, you know, worldwide for their faith. And certainly uh, uh, most of you probably, maybe you have those two things going on, but most of you are here you know, for your business to learn how uh, to, to, to become a person of influence. And then we back it up and start talking about social media things that we can do to bring it all together. So today is just uh, the orientation. It's a chance to tell you what to expect and, to, you know, give the schedule and that sort of thing. So um, I want you to feel free to ask questions. You know, it's going to be a long journey with us. We actually, if you stick with the whole thing, we're together for six months. You know, we have uh, the first three months of module training, uh, you know, where we talk 
talk the, the specifics and that sort of thing. Then we've got, you know, the, the other three months to implement everything we've learned. And so I don't love you and leave you. <laughs> I, I come on board with you, hold your hand and get you there. If you want to get there, I'm going to get you there. Okay. And so that's what it's all about. So I appreciate everybody tuning in today. So I uh, believe it or not, gosh, it seems like almost yesterday when this first course was launched. And now this is the eighth of its kind that, that I'm bringing out there. And it just keeps getting better. You know, I'm meeting new friends and and seeing people just thrive in their lives. And, you know, this has not just been unique to our industry, but I've also been training some real estate groups and things like that. It's been a whole lot of fun and very rewarding for me. And again, it's, it's fun to see them go. But you might ask if you don't know, you know, what's the inspiration? Well, if you don't know my background, um, in the early stages of life, I was uh, in corporate doing very well. And, and I hit that four letter word fear. <laughs> and I couldn't, I, I had a panic attack when I had to get out and do some public speaking. That was a very big part of what I would be doing if I wanted to continue to succeed. So I went to Dale Carnegie to conquer that fear. And I was so afraid that I, I here you are so afraid that you won't conquer fear, right? Isn't that funny? Um, but that I, that I excelled. I was so afraid that I would fail and my career would be over that I excelled. And they brought me on. I was certified and out there's a Dale Carnegie trainer. So all that, how to win friends, influence people stuff. Uh, thank God for my life has been a part of my world always. And as I branched out, you know, out of real estate and eventually into, uh, you know, the industries that I'm in today, I saw how so many people just didn't understand those principles. And so I call it going from Dale Carnegie to digital. We're really taking the principles of Dale Carnegie, kind of how to win friends and influence people, what influences them, what compels them, what repels them, that sort of thing. And, and packaging it all, all up so that you not only understand it, but again, you can implement that in the world that we're living in today. So when we first launched, uh, you know, that the, whole, the learning um, or the importance of learning influence, I don't know, some people thought, well, big deal, you know, <laughs> that's not such a big deal. Uh, you know, they, they really didn't think social media, you know, was necessary to enlarge their territory. They really just kind of, you know, thought it might be a luxury co course. But today, my <laughs> It was true back then, but it's also more true today. But it is, is it's a necessity. Okay, the world we're living in today, what we're dealing with today, you know, if the, the, from COVID-19 to um, the fact that people are getting accustomed to working online, meeting online, doing their business online. It's not a luxury anymore. It's a necessity. And I believe that, you know, if, if somebody like myself can conquer fear, you have no idea what, my, what I was like back then. If you can conquer anything, you know, and so you can learn anything. And that's what this is about, uh, you know, today or through the course. And if you don't learn how to master that art of influence and you aren't prepared to enlarge your territory, the bottom line is you won't live a very big life. You won't find the success that you hope to find. And as we sit there with billions of people at our fingertips, uh, whether again, it's your personal life, your spiritual life, your business life, it's crazy not to be able to tap into those, uh, you know, to what we have in front of us. So there's I one thing that I think that you'll find with me, maybe Obedient. some of our repeaters uh, can comment on that. Could you guys meet your yourself out, please. Um, what they can comment on is I, I do, God has gifted me and, and enabled me to bring some of these geeky things and put them in simple terms. So I take that geek out of all the stuff. It can be overwhelming when you hear people talk, you know, that are familiar with technology. It's just kind of like, whoa. And I take that, you know, surprise or that, you know, mystery out of it and kind of put it into layman's terms for you. But first things first, for all of you, um, our newbies especially, is accessing the course. So to access the course, you know, each each week has modules and has some supporting documents. There is a little worksheet to do. I don't want you to panic over that. I'll talk about that in just a minute. But you do want to go to the course site, which is livinglarger.life. And then at the top of the homepage, there'll be a button for library. So click on the library and you'll find the course inside that library. So you'll want to take the time. Listen, um, people tease me about being <laughs> being the Sarge, but I can tell if you watch the videos, okay? I can tell if you access the module. And so, you know, listen, you're paying hard-earned money to be a part of this course. You need to access the stuff. The videos aren't long within the modules. They're just, you know, maybe five, 10 minutes, but they kind of set the pace for what you're going to study. So you'll find the videos in there. Um, you'll find, you know, um, 
uh, the modules, the, the worksheets, excuse me, the documents and everything within each module. Now, I only release a module as we complete one. So for instance, next week, you know, we'll have module one, I'll put the recording inside of module one and I'll open up module two. So nobody can get ahead of the game. I'm kind of hold you back uh, so that you're walking through this with us. But that's how you access um, the things. You can download all the documents. Of course, you can keep them with you. But you also want to be sure, I want to be sure you know that don't please don't share what you're getting in the course. That's, you know, for, for our uh, students only. And then we have that live call each week. So another confusion with this course is calling it an online course, right? Because people think, well, you know, it's all online. No, you, you have your online work and then we're going to come together each week uh, to do this live call. So they, I want you to know they are recorded. Listen, I'm a stickler about that. You know, you, this, this, you need to mark your calendar, make this a priority. And if you, if you have to work, that's understandable. But a lot of people are, you know, make their own schedule. And when you make your own schedule, you find time for priority. So you need to be here. Okay. I had somebody tease me one week and say, well, you just said something, you know, in this course that you didn't say in the last course. And I'm like, hey, I'm not scripted. So we need to come together. And it's that live time where you ask questions and, and I, I feed you what I know. And so you need to be there. So if they are recorded, but you need to try to be there. So um, I do, again, put the recording inside the module each week so you can access it if you happen to miss it. You're going to receive an email reminder this coming week for module for the for our live call for module one. And there's going to be a Zoom link and it's a permanent Zoom link now. So after you receive that email access uh, week one, you never have to refer back and look for that link again. So I have a permanent Zoom link and that's lenswebroom.com. Again, that's going to be in the email I send you guys and please be reading your emails. Um, I'm going to send you the email. It'll be in there as a reminder. So you can write it down now or just look for the email. But that's going to really simplify. I think everybody's life uh, has always been crazy, you know, getting on the live call and people, what's the link? <laughs> so we're all set to go, lenswebroom.com, and you can access that each week. So again, it'll be a live call, and that link to the recording will be in that with the module, the applicable module for that week. Well, you know what? Jabez cried out to God, right? We all pretty much probably all know the scripture, First Chronicles 4.10. And, and Jabez cried out and said, oh, that you would bless me and enlarge my territory. Let your hand be with me and keep me from harm so that I will be free from pain. No doubt about it. You know, we need to pray for our ter territory to be enlarged. We need to be looking for that expansion in our lives and, and trust God with that. But there are some things that we need to do on our own to enlarge that territory. Imagine what life looks like you know, the comparison between when Jabez you know, was walking the earth and where we are today. So you look at a Jabez and said, oh, please bless me. Of course, Jabez, he, he was looking to have more of an opportunity to share God, okay? That was his goal. I want to I want to enlarge my territory and keep me safe, right? So he was really looking at that, you know, to be able to share his faith. Well, you know, obviously we all need to do that as well. It's not a secondary to me, it's first. But, you know, that's what he was looking for. We need to pray for that enlarged territory. Listen, you have a chance to become an extraordinary person of influence in every area of your life. If you'll just grab on, if you grabbed on to half of what I share with you in this course, you can become that extraordinary person of influence. You just have to apply what you learn and start enlarging that territory. I, I tell everybody, I commit to you that I'm going to do my part. I'm going to do everything I possibly can to get you there. But you have to do your part too. You have to actually understand the importance of it and then learn how to get there. Well, Jesus said, uh, you know, I will send you out and make you fishers of men. You know, he didn't say, you know, you'll learn, just listen, you'll figure it out. You'll get there someday. He's like, no, it's a proactive thing. He's saying, I'm going to send you out out and frankly guys we've all had we all have the same great commission you know we're all supposed to be sent out a lot of times we don't know how to do that fear gets in the way of that maybe we do that in a you know kind of small way in our local community whatever it is you know but we're supposed to be sent out and that requires action on your part so if that's a goal of yours, you're going to learn how to do that. Um, but you're definitely going to learn how, uh, you know, to expand your business out there. Uh, but it's going to require action on your part. So there's a problem, you know, that I see at least. And one thing that inspired this course again is that most people uh, in sales, and most of us are in sales. I, I think everybody is, you know, because, uh, hey, I'm selling my faith. I'm selling Jesus. I'm selling myself to my personal world. I'm, and I'm selling, uh, you know, my business out in the business world. But the problem is this. Most people go about that process like they're hunting and they need to go about that process like they're fishing 
you see a hunter's mentality is kind of find, kind find it kill it eat it you know it's like it's like go for it and, and, and ravage it right they they you know they hunt for business they hunt for love they hunt for avenues to share their faith and when they find it you know when they find their prey if you will when they find the target they go in for the kill it's a just find it kill it eat it methodical kind of thing but what they really need to be doing to grow a bigger world to be a bigger person of influence to go in a larger territory is they need to learn how to fish see fishing requires patience and it requires strategy you don't just go out there with any old pole and any old body of water and catch a fish it doesn't work that way you know you've got to go where they are and and, and learn what they need right so we need to learn how to fish and jesus said i'm going to send you out and make you fishers of men so i'm going to kind of tie all that stuff together that applies frankly for every area of life so we need to learn how to influence the fish to you instead of having that find it, kill it, eat it mentality. You know, you find a lead or find a potential client and go after them like a hungry dog. We're going to stop doing that, believe it or not, and we're going to look at what it looks like to fish. So when you fish, in case you've never been fishing, I love fishing, by the way, uh, you got a, a couple of things to think about. You know, where are you going to go to find a fish? Well, if I want catfish, I don't go to the ocean. And if I want a swordfish, I don't go to the pond. You got to figure out where the fish are. So if you're out there for ministry, your personal life, your business life, you really do have to try to figure out what kind of fish, what's my ideal fish? And then you've got to figure out where you're going to go to go fishing. And then you need what kind of gear, what kind of gear. Again, you don't take a, you know, massive fishing boat out into the pond. You don't take a little, you know, rowboat out into the sea. You got to figure out what do I need to be successful when I go fishing, I need to be equipped for that journey. So that's everything from tools to, you know, whatever you need to know what you, the, the, what you need, the, the equipment you need to be successful. And then you look at what kind of bait does your fish eat? Oh my goodness. It drives me crazy. <laughs> People send the wrong kind of bait to the wrong kind of fish, you know? So you got to determine, okay, I know where to find my fish. I'm equipped and I'm ready, but what is that fish hungry for? You know, when you feed a fish, try to feed a fish the wrong bait, they just swim away. And so you've got to determine, what are they looking for? What are they hungry for? And then you feed them that bait. It's not that you throw out any kind of old bait you feel like throwing out. And, it, you know, every once in a while you're going to catch something. It's that you have to you do that methodically. And you have to go fishing with purpose, in other words, right? And then there's the lure. And boy, that's the part we're going to work the most on. The lure is what attracts the fish in the first place. So you put the lure on, right? You, you bait the hook. You throw the line out there. But it's that lure. The lure is the sizzle. The lure is what gets that fish to look that way in the first place. So it's usually something shiny or colorful, depending on the fish, you know, that you're trying to catch. It's, it's something that's going to attract them, you know, your way. And that's who you are. You need, you're the lure. So you've got to get yourself positioned so that you're that person of influence. You are the lure and you attract the fish to you. And if you've got, you're in the right body with the right bait, you have the right equipment, you're all ready to go you're going to catch a fish. And it really does, you're going to get tired of hearing me talking about fishing, but it really does come down to something so simple. Then it, we're going to talk about what you say and how you say it. Listen, that's not just a script thing. That's the different words that you use that will, uh, will either compel or repel people. And believe it or not, a lot of us, you know, when we're in sales for a long time, we use words systematically that that com that repel people, and we don't even see it coming. It's like we speak our own language and don't know, understand what turned them off. So there are lots of, of words that we need to focus on, uh, words that compel, words that repel, and we need to get. A lot of us are going to have to change our language. That's the bottom line. So you need to understand the difference, and we're going to get you there. You know, uh, Dale Carnegie said that when dealing with people, let us remember we're not dealing with creatures of logic. We're dealing with creatures of emotion, creatures bristling with prejudices and motivated by pride and vanity. Listen, so what do we do? We go out with logic. Well, if I just give them enough information, if I can just educate them, if I can just tell them everything I know, then they're going to want to do what I do. But that's not true. In fact, if you think about whatever it is you do for a living, or even if you talk about your faith, what got you there in the first place was emotion. Something triggered your emotion. And that's what what we need to be mindful of as we you know, gain more knowledge and learn about a product or learn about a service or learn about financial and learn about health, whatever it is, we've got to remember that just because you know more doesn't mean they need to hear more. And so we're going to talk a lot about how, you know, we get accustomed to telling people what we need to say instead of speaking what they need to hear. And so words are a very important part of that. And it's called hitting the emotional trigger. So we're going to, uh, again, talk about words, uh, inflection in our voice and all kinds of stuff. It's going to be a lot of fun to figure out 
how do we hit the emotional trigger uh, for those fish we're trying to catch? And, and so then we, you know, we need to figure out what they look like and, and we need to figure out how to hit them. And that's where the fishing part comes in. This course is a little bit different. As you know, we usually, when we get into the social media side, I tell everybody that you can, uh, you have, it's like a la carte. You tell me what you don't want to learn, we're going to go on with it. Because social media, where does it end, right? We've got, you know, Snapchat and Twitter and LinkedIn and Facebook and Instagram and all these different things. And really inside of one course, it would be ridiculously impossible to do. But the, 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 the uh, strategies, if you will, are all the same. So generally what we focus on in the course is Facebook, mastering Facebook. I'm sorry, it's still the most widely used tool and it has more users than anybody else. And so that is a great place for us to go. We're going to talk strategies and words and visuals and all that stuff. We're still going to do all that. And we also talk about blogging because blogging is a great way for you to build your brand. That's really the, you know, the focus of what you're doing as you live larger is building your own brand. But now, I, you know, as we have gone about, this is again, the eighth course, I've seen where there are some voids, you know, as people are looking to, you know, maybe recruit business people into their business instead of being product driven, uh, LinkedIn's a great source. And so we're going to talk a lot about LinkedIn marketing this time. We're going to go from Facebook and compelling and repelling stuff. And we're actually going to go over Facebook ads. I've actually blended a mini course that I put together on Facebook ads and I'm throwing it into this. And so that's a, a real good uh, advantage. In addition to just throwing words at you, we're going to work on some scripts. So some door opening kind of scripts, some, uh, you know, words that you can put out, scripts you can put out on, on social media that are compelling. We're actually going to dissect that and, and come up with one or two or three that are ideal for you and your personality and what you're trying to do with, in your life, whether it, again, personal life, business life, or your spiritual walk. And so we're going to work on scripts. And then we're going to look a little bit at consumer trends. I don't want you to think it's getting all analytical out there, but it is important to understand where people are coming from. For instance, I, you know, I've got a financial arm right now and, and people are saying, well, Will anybody even, everybody's buying houses and the stock market is soaring. That really doesn't matter because when you look at the, finan uh, the financial trends, the consumer trends, I know that it's the ideal time to hit them with what I'm trying to hit them with. So we're going to look at consumer trends and I'm going to teach you how you can identify those trends as they change as well. And it doesn't mean you got to read every newspaper or every, you know, digital newspaper or every news flash or whatever. It doesn't mean you have to do that, but you can identify trends. And when you see trends going, you need to run like a crazy person and go to that pond or Go to that body of water and get yourself equipped with the bait and the lure. So we're going to look at that. And then we're going to identify markets because sometimes, you know, uh, there's so much available to you. When I say pick what you want, what kind of fish you want, people uh, are kind of, I found were kind of floundering around. They didn't really get off square one because they couldn't figure out, you know, <laughs> where, where am I supposed to go? There's too, many, too much to pick from, right? And so I'm going to help you identify markets based on what you're trying to accomplish. And again, any, any area of your life or in any business. And so we'll identify that as well. As I'm explaining to you what's coming, please, whatever you do, don't feel overwhelmed by the explanation. Because I, again, I, I hope that we'll have some uh, prior students speak up and, and they can attest to the fact that I'm going to simplify this. You're going to think you're in kindergarten, okay? I'm going to simplify it so you can and get it and you can embrace it and you can implement it. Because unless you understand it, you can never put it there. So don't be overwhelmed. Uh, communication. There's a chat um, option open within each module. Um, it's been fun. You know, we had just a couple courses where people actually did a lot of, uh, you know, exchanging information and questions and that sort of thing inside that chat. So feel free to use that. You can reach out to me there as well. But if you need to reach me uh, personally, uh, the, the best way to do that is through email. You know, I tell you what, I, I love technology. Obviously, I'm teaching it right, but it can go crazy sometimes. One day, I had somebody pretty frustrated with me because I hadn't got back to them. And I, I counted, I had like 47, 48 individual text messages for business. Well, I can't keep up with that. Okay. You got to stop and stop driving and do whatever. So email is the best place to reach me. And that is Len at livinglarger.life. And just be patient. I will get back with you. Um, and if you, if I don't get back to you quickly, you send me a text. Okay. But that's the best line of a way that we can all communicate moving forward. So in a nutshell, that's what you guys can expect. Um, is anybody out there with any questions that I can answer? You just unmute yourself and I'll be glad to do that. Anybody or any comments? Oh, my quiet ones. I, hey, I, had, I had a question. Uh, you were talking about uh, uh, something about logging, building my own brand. Right. Could you expound on that just 
I, I didn't get that. I was trying to write it down. Okay. Well, you know, the bottom line is, as we're out there in, in, in business, or if you're building a ministry type thing, you want, you want to build your brand. So what I find is that a lot of people go out, they, they get, they get engaged with a company, with a product or service, whatever, right? And all they do is talk about that pro that company <laughs> or that product or that service. Well, people always, if they buy on emotions, they're going to buy from you. We all know that. The sales 101, they buy from you. They buy from who they trust and they buy from whom they believe in. And so we're going to be working on that brand. So instead of, you know, marketing, marketing, marketing a business or product by name, we want to be sure that that we have a brand. And so when people, you know, become more aware of our product or service, uh, they, you know, they're going to look for the brand. As people see us on social media, they associate us with a brand. And so it's, it's a lot of work and pieces or parts to that, but we're going to pull that all together. The brand is who you are and what you stand for. And then we put that on steroids and we do that through social media. And so I uh, will walk you through that. Good question then, Michael Storbach. Thank you. Anybody else? Now's the time to ask your questions. Any comments from uh, people who have attended the course before? I'm going to pick on somebody if you don't <laughs> if you don't get my back and tell everybody that I simplify the message. Anybody? I think it's amazing. I'm sitting here um, watching this, Lynn, and it's like I'm so excited because this is my third time, and it's so improved. It's like, oh, my gosh, I could just see. I could feel it. Yeah. I can see it, and I'm ready like this is my first time ever taking the course. Oh, wow. I love that, Sheree. Thanks for sharing that. Yeah, it's it's new and improved, right? It's like, it takes a while. You know, I went out again. It was the Lord led me to do this. And I, then I just had to see where, where are the pockets, uh, you know, where people are lacking. And so just add that in. And we're going to have a ball. And, you know, you know that it's not canned. When I come out here, every module, each week when I come out, I'm not scripted. And so it depends on you guys, you know, what you want and it just kind of flows. So you don't want to miss it. <laughs> Once you're, in, you're a lifetime student, trust me, you won't get bored. You won't say, oh, here we go again. Um, I, I brush by while you guys are, are thinking, getting your questions together, um, the module worksheets. Listen, if you're expecting something uh, really detailed, get it out of your head. Because when you see the worksheet, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to hit your emotional trigger. And so it's very, it, it really won't take a whole lot of time in, turn, in terms of effort, but I want you to think about it, pray about it, ponder over it, because what I share, there's a little bit of scripture and a whole bunch of digging, and that's where we're going to get to your emotional trigger, okay? So don't just sweep by it, uh, go through the, the, the module worksheet, and actually do it, please, <laughs> take the time um, and do the worksheet. And then I hope some of you will be willing to share, you know, we'll go over the worksheet each week, share your thoughts or your feelings. And so don't, again, don't be disappointed when we see the worksheet because it's hard stuff. Anybody else? Lisa. Yes. <laughs> Lisa has been fabulous. She has implemented so many things from the course. It's like looking at uh, just a whole new Lisa on Facebook. Really? She's, uh, yeah, she's been so teachable. Instead of talking my product, my servant, my product, my product, my product. Yeah, people are relating to Lisa. She has done a phenomenal job. So I know in the beginning, though, when you first joined us, you're like, I have no idea. I don't know who I am. <laughs> I don't know what I like. And so it was a struggle for her. But I want you to comment, and I'm not twisting your arm. I want you to be no. honest about it. Uh, did you feel like that I was able to simplify something that was overwhelming for you did you did i accomplish that with you yes or, or not you you did honestly you did because and i do remember because like sheree this is my third my third or fourth go around and i can remember going over those modules thinking what the heck am i doing yeah. you know right. i have to think <laughs> right. i have to really think about who i am you know, and, when, and, and another thing, too, is I think I even questioned a few of my friends, you know, what, what do you think about me? What's the first thing that pops into your head when you think of me? Right. Of course, some of the comments y'all don't want to know. The majority of them was goofy. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> but, um, but, you know, it, it, like Lynn said, it, it, she's digging deep and it makes you stop and, and think about who am I and what do I stand for and what do I believe in and what do I want people to know me for? And, um, so yeah, and I'm still, I'm, I'm still a work in progress, but I, I'm 
been doing my best to take advantage of everything that Lynn has offered through the course um, with her blogging, with her membership, with the blogging, um, with just trying to remember to post and, and post limited stuff on business and trying to let people know who I am more than, than my product. And um, that is a, a major paradigm shift, you know, because we get so used to, oh, let me tell you about my product. Let me tell you about my product. Let me tell you about my product. And people get sick of it. Okay. <laughs> sick of it. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people will quit following, you know, my goodness, does this person ever talk about anything but a product? So the effort was really great. It's just the direction was wrong. Mm -hmm. And so people, you, we need to get people to relate to us on social media, especially, okay. And to us as human beings, who are we and what do we stand for? And so we definitely need a theme uh, when you're on social media, especially, you know, primarily Facebook, you need a theme uh, because that's what people will relate to. They're not good. So what your theme is your product. That's not even personal. Right. Mm -hmm. And so you need a theme with me. I took a course. I'd never been on Facebook for it. Never go. Anytime I say never remember. Right. So I, I was never going to go on Facebook, took a course and realized that, Oh my gosh, what I need to do is paint this picture of who I am and what I stand for 80% of the time. And then boom, hit you hard for my business. The other 20% of the time. And if you've learned to appreciate me as a human being on Facebook, the likelihood of you being offended by my business is very slim. And hopefully I'll actually get your attention. That's the whole game. And so for me, as you, most of you know, mine was my faith. I was really struggling. I did, you know, I want to put out dogs and cats and grandkids and recipes. That's just not me. And so uh, the Lord inspired me with a post on Facebook. In fact, I was thinking about Wade Holder because my post was, uh, you know, the ground had covered with snow and the American flag. It was just so magnificent. I just started writing and that became the spiritual post, right? And that, and, and so my faith is my brand. Really, that's who I am and what I stand for more than anything else, more than business, more than anything. And so, but anyway, getting back to Lisa, it's just been remarkable to see because she was doing a really good job. You know, she was posting great stuff for her business, <laughs> you know, and, I, and, and I, I'm sure people in the business, that's another thing that we do. It's like we entertain people who are already in our business. Well, why are we doing that? We want new fish right? If you're already in my business, your things we were posting like, oh, look, cool. That's cool what Lisa's doing. Uh, but that didn't get Lisa any more attention. And what no. she needs is attention from the new fish. And so she did a great job. Thank Anybody you. Else? I'd like to say something particularly about Lisa. Yes. Lisa, you just glow. <laughs> I wanted to say that on Sunday. You just, you just glow, girl. I don't know what's going on in your life, but it's got to be good. It's God. <laughs> it's all God. Yeah. <laughs> yes, she does, Cynthia. Yes, she does. But, um, uh, and, and finding the humor in everything around me. <laughs> that's why I love gotta it, find, right? Gotta find that humor, y'all. If you yeah. don't find the humor, then no. You oh, just my do. goodness. <laughs> Where would we be, right? Thank especially, you. Especially at a time such as this. But, Lynn, I think, first of all, I want to apologize for being late getting on. I was on no the problem. call with Bonnie Sue. Um, I think what you were saying about just being who, letting people know who we are. I don't know why I'm not on video. I, I, I need to learn computers better. Okay. But, um, that's, I think that's one thing that's so special that people tell me is so special about my store is that it reflects me. Right. So what you're saying about Facebook, same thing. That's still me out there. It still needs to reflect me. I don't know if my Facebook reflects me or not. Probably not. I'm going to take this course again because I need to learn it better. And yeah. I didn't follow through with a lot of things that you taught. And I want to make sure that I do that this time around. So oh, thank you I'm so glad much. you're offering it again. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, I'm glad you're coming back because, again, well, you, you know, hey, I do want to say, who does that? Who does a course <laughs> that says just keep coming back? <laughs> okay. Yeah. That's because I care. I really do. I and care do. you guys and get this that. stuff out there. Mainly, if you know, for those of you who know me personally, know my heart, I want you to grow the kingdom of God. That's really mm -hmm. my, that's really Absolutely. what I want. Absolutely. I want you to get out there. But, you know, it, it, I, that also includes a business, right? It could include your personal life, whatever it is. But I know that uh, I care. And that's why I want you to come back. And if you, and I want you to come back till it sticks. You know, and, and, and I'm so glad you are. And you well, said if it's stuck with Lisa, it can stick with me. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. She was like, I don't know. <laughs> she would call me. I don't know. We get down to uh, coming up with your 
what used to be a 30 second elevator speech like the that right. was like, just so you know that was like death to the end you don't need 30 seconds 30 <laughs> seconds is long enough to put your foot in your mouth but we came up with that influential intro you're just like i have no idea i can't do it i don't know what i do i don't know how to do it <laughs> it seems so silly but uh, she has been so teachable awesome. uh, that i appreciate her so th and i appreciate okay. you cynthia so much Thank you. hey before Thank you, you go are you getting snow well, we got, we got a little bit. I actually went up to, I've been to Denver and back already today. Um, we got mostly rain yesterday and a little bit of snow through the night, but nothing like they said we would. Okay. And tomorrow will probably be sunny and warm. Right. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. We'll be safe out there. Thanks for uh, your comments. Anybody else? Questions? And this is Debbie. I'll speak up. Okay. Um, just appreciate you so much for offering this course and of course giving people who have attended before the opportunity to, to return um, to, we, we can't get it all at one time. Um, there's just too much. It, it, it is a deep course. It helps you to reflect, dig deep into who you are and what you want to stand for or who you want to even attract into your business. So I feel like it is very, very reflective and it does take some effort. That's really the homework is to reflect on what it is that you want. And you just, you guide us so well in each class. Um, of course, I've taken it twice before, but each class you you always have, it's not your part, even though you have a focus for each module, your part is not scripted. And right. so I, I feel like I'm learning something new every time I attend. Um, and this time I hope to put, put in practice your blog. So that's my goal for this time. Oh, awesome. Well, great. We'll get you there. So thank you very much. for. That's exciting. I, I, don't, I don't know if I came through. I've got an unstable connection. Okay. Thank you, thank you so much. I love you and Phil so much. And I appreciate you. And I'm sorry I won't see you next month at the farm. But yeah, we'll get you there on the blogging. It is a lot, guys. I mean, some people say, a course for six months? No way am I doing that. Let me tell you, that six months, it goes so fast. There's so much stuff. And it's so fun. And it's so rewarding. And it's a paradigm shift. It's stuff you've never, probably never even heard before. It's a lot of fun. And it goes by so fast. You know, but there's a lot of stuff. And you'll, when we get to that point, you'll decide. Again, it's like a la carte. You may only want to do Facebook. You may only want to do LinkedIn. Whatever it is, we'll get you there. And, and, and you pick from the menu of services what you want to do. Can't do it all. Some of you, by the way, I will drop this seed. Some say, um, oh, I want to write a book. You know, you guys know I've got three out there, right? And, and the one uh, for one stream of income for me, for my business, I wrote uh, toilet steps and trash. <laughs> it's like a mouthful, right? Get tongue tied. Even an auctioneer gets tongue tied on that one. But it, it was a unique title, right? And I was able to do back end marketing. I can't sp explain in this call, but because mm -hmm. of the topic, because of the category I put it in, because of the, you know, the flow I got, I got it to go, you know, number one on Amazon. So that really helped me in my business. I can't believe. Well, it's a, it's like a, a glorified pamphlet, guys. You've seen the book. It probably is maybe 50 pages. It's not like a book book, like you think about a book, but does it really matter? Because I can say I'm a best-selling author. And so some of you have said you want to do a book. Some of you would like to you know, launch your business with a book and do something similar. It is not hard. You just have to do it. <laughs> and I can help you through how to get it on Amazon, how to get it up there. It doesn't cost you a dime to put your books on Amazon. And so it doesn't matter whatever you want to do. You want to do a blog. You want to write a book. You want to do Facebook. There's an a la carte. I am going to get you there, but you have to put in your part. I guarantee you, I don't think anybody would argue. I give you 110% of what I have to give, but the rest is up to you. So if you want to get there and you want a bigger world, a life that's larger than life in your faith, in your personal life, in your business life, uh, this is the way to get there. And so I'm really glad to have you guys on. Anything else? Again, comments, questions. Okay. Well, module was somebody out there. This is Sammy. I was just going to, I got on a little bit late, so I wasn't sure if I missed the structure of pricing or anything like that. Oh, you know, you didn't, but I can send you an email on that if you want. Okay. So yeah, and it's a, it's a six month plan. Um, and so, and it's, it's a $3 and 33 cents a day. That's the bottom line. You buy Starbucks or anything else. That's what it comes down to. And I, boy, I, I'm telling you this, uh, you know, now that you've, uh, 
I mean, I'm, I'm coming out of, uh, God has been so good to me. This is not Lynn bragging, okay? But I was, you know, out there doing Dale Carnegie. Then I got a speaker's bureau. We get really well paid for that mess, okay? <laughs> really well paid for it. Uh, yeah, I like to do a little bit of it now. But the bottom line is, uh, there's so much value here. You couldn't, most people couldn't write a check for what you'd have to pay to get the pieces of what I'm putting into this course. I'm serious. It wasn't about the money for me. It's about getting out there. And I do know that if you don't have a little skin in the game, most people don't appreciate stuff. And so I've tried to put it out there where this, you know, it's right in line with other things you might be familiar with, but boy, I tell you the value you're getting, um, it's big, it's big. Anybody else? I will send that to you, Sammy. And, uh, you know, I, I, I would hope that you can, you know, somehow we'll work it out for you to, to do this because then you can pay it forward. <laughs> I'd love to see Wade and Gina do it too. And I know with the store, they probably can't, but you could probably pay that forward. Anybody else? Okay, guys, this is your chance. Our first class, again, module one has been opened up. So it's already there and waiting for you guys. Um, spend, spend some time in reflection. This is not just about, that's not head stuff in your, uh, on your worksheets. It's, it's heart stuff. Okay. So spend some time there on that this week and you will find this recording. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put it in that module just in case, because I do need to share it out there to probably half a dozen people hoping to get on, but couldn't get on for their work schedules or whatever. If you, again, you want to build a life that's larger than life, I can't think of a better way to get there. And I'm ready to get you there with God's help. God bless you. Thank you, Lynn, God bless so you. much. Anybody else? Lynn. Okay, God bless you guys. You, God Lynn. bless America. I'll see you guys next week. Take Thank care. Bye-bye. Thank, Thank you, Lynn. Thank